Little did she dream that the moment this stranger came to her house looking for work, terror would enter her life. How was she to know a good deed would transform her quiet home into a house of horror? He looked so kind. He spoke so softly. Suddenly she saw the man as he really was. No, Howard. No. Please, no. No. She ran to the door. It was locked. Smashing windows. Crying out. Brought no help. She was this madman's prisoner. Now, you listen to me. I'm going to let those kids in because they might go for help. But you'd better be quiet. Her only hope that someone would phone, and someone did. Don't answer that. ticking second became a lifetime of frenzy, every terrible moment an eternity of fear. 